Hello and welcome to the ADAT Dev Room. I'm Fernando Leo Blanco and I've been the main organizer for this event. This has also been uh, organized in cooperation with ADA Europe and ADA Belgium. Before we get started, I would like to thank all the people who have made this possible, mainly the collaborators, especially Dirk Cranest, who was the main uh, organizer for this event for over a decade, Jeffrey R. Carter, Ludovic Brenta, and Tama Maglin, and also the speakers. They are the ones who have created the, these presentations and who have put a lot of work into them. And we cannot forget the FOSDEN team. They have been the ones enabling us to come together here today to share um, a nice day of, of presentations and uh, questions and answers. And at the end of the day, hopefully also a bit of a beer. I'll tell you more on that later. So, in cooperation with ADA Europe and ADA Belgium, they are two organizations who promote ADA, its use within the community, academia and the industry. You can learn more about them if you go into their web pages. Uh, their links are present in the presentation, so you can just click on them. And as said, uh, they promote the usage of ADA. You can take part of them, they um, make the community come closer, and they also organize different events and also academic and industrial papers that get shared um, in the case of ADA Europe quarterly. By the way, ADA Europe is uh, still still has the industry track um, open for its conference in summer, I believe it's summer, in Belgium. So you may want to take a look at it and see if you want to present something there. If you would like to uh, take part uh, in their in the organizations, you can take a look at a, at a PDF, at a paper that's linked in the FOSDEM page for this presentation, for the video that you're watching right now, uh, which includes the different uh, different uh, costs and organizations that come uh, with, the, with joining the organization and how you can do that and also what they offer to you as a member. So a short introduction about myself, since this is the first time you are probably seeing me. I'm Fernando Leo Blanco, a master's student, mostly related to into mechanical topics. And I, regarding ADA, I've mostly worked on updating ADA in NetBSD. And I've also made, uh, I believe, the first GCC ADA compiler running on PowerPC on NetBSD. Uh, I also showed ADA and Scheme Interop. You can click on the link if you want to see that. And I've run ADA on a synthesized RISC V core on an FPGA. So I've, that repo is also public and the information is readily available. So this is the first time ADA is taking place in a, an online format. And I would like to explain to you, the public, how that is going to take place. So if you go to the ADA Dev Room webpage, uh, at the top right you have three links, video with Q&A, uh, just video presentation, and chat. The link I would recommend you click is the chat uh, link. That will open, as I will show you in a second, the element interface, which is the main interface for this entire event. The video and the video with Q&A links have a video link that you can open with any video player that can um, play videos from the internet. However, they are n only the video. They provide no interactive uh, medium with which to ask questions or discuss topics. For that, I would uh, you should click on the on the chat uh, link. Once you click. Uh, it will open the element interface and here you will see uh, a few parts. On the left you have the different rooms that uh, you have joined and where you can discuss topics. On the center, which is the most important part, you will find the information that's taking place right now. So at the top you will have the stream where the videos for the presentations are going to be played and after the video has been played the Q&A session will take place. At the right of the video, you have the questions and answers panel. The questions and answers, uh, so the, sorry, the questions can be asked by just simply typing on the, on the chat system and the questions that get the most upvotes, the most reactions to them will appear 
on that uh, <clears throat> on that panel and the more reactions they get the higher up the list they will be so the moderator that, uh, that will help the speaker um, with the questions and answers can see which questions are more relevant to the community in order to give the thumbs up to, to questions you can react to a message by hovering over the message and at the right a, a small set of boxes will appear where you can react to the message by clicking on the emoticon um, icon. We also have a manager, uh, it's an automatic bot for the chat system which will be announcing which talks will come and what uh, event is going to happen. So it will announce when a question and answer is about to happen, when a new talk is going to start. So that will help you, the public, know what is going on right now in the screen. We have a full schedule, uh, so I'm very glad about that. We have talks uh, that range from the most beginners and beginner topics, from introductions and first experience with ADA, to the more advanced topics such as the Spark, which is the verifiable subset of ADA. We also have talks about tools and projects ha that have been developed with ADA. So, finally, have as much fun as you can. Please ask questions. Also, ask a question now if you can, so that I can see whether the system is working correctly. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything important. Just just send something, and uh, and let me know whether this is working or not. Sadly, beers are not included today, but uh, you can bring your own. And at the end of the day, uh, we will have a closing session. And after a any talk, sorry, I'm I should have explained this earlier. So after the questions and answers uh, takes place, uh, which will take in place in a second for this presentation, after the questions and answers takes place, a room that was previously private will become open. That room is controlled by the speaker and the speaker, if they have more time, they can join that room and anybody from the public can also join that room. There, there will be a chat uh, system, just like uh, the one that you should be seeing right now, and a conference uh, system, just like the one you just saw for the questions and answer. You, can, you as the public, can join the, the, the conference system so that you can have a direct conversation in real time, voice to voice, uh, webcam with webcam, with image, uh, with the um, with the presenter, with the speaker, if they have time. You can also write on the chat if you would not like to join the, the call. Those videos, the, the, the presentations, the talks that happen in those rooms that are specific to those uh, specific talks and presentations are not being recorded. Uh, only the Q&A will be recorded and it will only be recorded in this main room where all the presentations will take place. So this video stream will contain from this presentation, the introduction uh, to the ADA dev room, to the very last one. And only and you only have to join uh, the, in the specific rooms of each presentation if you would like to ask more questions to the speakers. Those rooms, once again, are private up until the questions and answers um, are done. The bot, once the questions and answers time is, is finished, will publish the link to, uh, for anybody to join those, those rooms. If you missed the, the link for that room, you can go into the presentation, into the FOSDEM page for that presentation and click on the chat link that will be present there. So, going back to the closing session. After the video is played and the Q&A for that uh, small session takes place, the room will be opened and I'm inviting you all to come together and just join that new room that will be created and will be open to the public and just bring a beer and have a chat. It can be ADA related or not, you decide. I will. I hope to be there uh, for, for a while and have fun. Enjoy, enjoy the, the presentations and ask as many questions as you can. If one is not answered during the, the key official Q&A, 
if the speaker has time, you can always ask them that in their own room. See you! Okay. So the Q&A should, um, using the prompt, should have started now. Hopefully that was done correctly. Uh, otherwise, I need to tell the speakers to correct that. But either way, um, I see a question uh, from Yannick uh, say, saying whether we can see the question. And yes, yes, we can. Uh, I can see that it has two upvotes. So that is wonderful. Um, if anybody has questions on how the system works, on some of the dynamics that are involved, you can do that now. Um, another bit of trivia that a lot of um, people don't know, both speakers and you, the public, you can downvote also questions if you don't think they are that important or if they are duplicated. Um, if you downvote a question, it, um, one point gets taken out of it. So, so that way you, the public, can more or less democratize who gets to to be on, uh, what questions get to be at the top or not. I can see that, for example, now we have three upvotes for the question from Yannick. Also, um, regarding uh, the dynamics um, of the of the rooms, as I've said in the video, once the questions and answers time runs out, the room where, where I'm in should be opened to the public. If you want to test uh, whether you can join this room and how the room would look like once you join, you can come here and, and just say anything and I can, I can tell you whether it's working or not. Uh, you will be able to chat uh, through text with the speakers and through this conference system that we are using right now. So I hope um, that everybody is also seeing the, the live stream correctly and no issues are, are taking place. I think we started, the system started the, the presentation a little bit late um, and, and hopefully the Q&A prompt and that we get when it starts um, was more or less correct. Also, I need to see whether this Q&A stops when it should stop or if it gets cut before a hand. And I think it's going to get cut before hand. If that happens, please join this room and tell me, yes, the live um, the Q&A session ended abruptly before the time where it should be. This, this Q&A should end exactly at um, at 10 15 uh, zero, zero. so we will see that so anyway now we will have the presentation from jean pierre and he will present uh, he will give his very well known talk about the introduction of ada to both beginners and experienced programmers really good that's how i got started into 